during my professional career, I uh, uh, won the Swedish championships four times in uh, decathlon, and I was on the national team for 14 years, and um, I was ranked third at the NCAA here in America. I was also I was ninth at the European Championships uh, in 2000, and uh, so about three years ago. I happened to be at a pole vault competition and happened to come down what I thought was just a little bit wrong. And then when I looked down, I saw that my foot was sitting at the side of my leg. So I went to the hospital and uh, had it fixed, had several, you know, surgeries and was in the hospital for a while and did a lot of physical therapy, a lot of training to come back from that. And I thought I did a pretty good job of that. And then a year later, less than a year later, I managed to have another compound fracture on the other leg running hurdles. It's been an interesting process. I had high hopes, but I think when you don't know what to expect and they say that you might be able to walk, but most likely not run or jog again. It's hard to comprehend when you've been doing that for your whole life. So accepting it is very, very hard, especially as, an, as a former athlete.